Hello, this is Alex on Pangyo Techno Valley Weekly News. Here's the news from the second week of November. NHN to launch Cloud Service Corporation eyes doubling of monthly revenue. NHN announced on the fourth of this month that it will launch an independent corporation of NHN Cloud Service next year. The plan was announced at the V10 Live Cloud in-house meeting where staff of its 20 affiliates participated virtually. The virtual meeting event was held at the NHN's Pangyo office, Play Museum. NHN said its average monthly revenue of cloud service surpassed 10 billion Korean won, hoping to more than double that number by the launch date. The company said currently the number of client businesses of its cloud service is 3,400 and 24 or more businesses are joining every month. As of now, the cloud service provides 182 types of solutions, which is three times as much as there was in 2018. NHN is planned to establish data centers at Gwangju, Gimhae, Suncheon and other major cities in South Korea one by one after next year. Having already begun regional services in Japan, North America, and Europe, NHN is working to expand its service to cover Vietnam and Indonesia. Next up, we made making a key currency of PC games. We made a South Korean game maker which changed public perception on blockchain-based games with its online game Mir 4 began to work for securing the status of key currency in the PC game industry through its game platform WeMix. The game maker is planning to distribute SDK, a game-based blockchain software development kit, and establish an exchange center where integrated transactions are possible. By the end of next year, around 100 blockchain-based games will be uploaded to WeMix. WeMade CEO Chang Hyun Guk said on November 3rd that the goal of WeMix is becoming a gaming blockchain as well as a key currency of PC games, adding utility coins will be the only ones that survive out of the numerous coins on the market. The South Korean game maker came into prominence in the global market with its Mir 4, where NFTs were incorporated. This was because Mir 4 was the first large-scale game that generated meaningful outcomes with NFTs, whereas most of the blockchain-based PC games so far have been of lower quality. The number of gamers of Mir 4 right after its launch was over 800,000. The figure is on par with a record that the game maker's cash cow Mir 2 attained in 2005. We made stock price hit 190,000 Korean won earlier this month, up from 38,000 earlier this year. Next up, 42DOT raised 104 billion Korean won worth of investment. An autonomous driving and mobility technology startup, 42DOT announced on November 2nd that it ended its fundraising program with 104 billion Korean won for its Series A investment round, the first round for institutional investors. It is one of the biggest for a Series A round at home or abroad. The startup has attracted the total of 153 billion Korean won so far. 42 Dot is an ATAAS or Autonomous Transportation as a Service startup, which was established on March 2019 by the former CEO of Naver Labs and CTO of Naver, Song Chang Hyun. The ATAAS means adopting self driving technology to all forms of mobility. The raised funds are to be used for technology development expansion of technology investment through M&As or equity investments, the acceleration of business through investments or joint ventures, and securing of top human capital. The startup is planning to advance TAP, a mobility platform for optimized mobility, and AKIT, a full-stack self-driving technology that ranges from autonomous driving AI to an AI acceleration system based on UMOS, or Urban Mobility Operating System. 42 Dot aims to integrate its self-driving solution A kit to cars of vehicle OEM companies by the fourth quarter of 2023. Next up, Cacao to launch IF 2021 conference from November 16th to the 18th. South Korea's mobile life platform Cacao announced on November 1st that it posted the sessions and schedules of IF Cacao 2021 on its webpage. The conference is scheduled to be held from the 16th to the 18th of November. The theme of the conference is a better world where all thrive together. The conference covers around 120 sessions, which is the largest of its history, addressing various subjects including service, technology, business, partners, ESG, and ways of working. 
On the first day of the event, November 16th, Cacao CPO and CBO will introduce their major services, current status, strategies, and business direction. The conference will also cover the fellowship research of Cacao Impact, Cacao Social Outreach Institution, five ESG sessions, mm, Cacao View, Cacao Talk Wallet, Cacao Talk Channel, Subscription On, and other sessions of non-technology sectors. CEO of Cacao Group's affiliates, which consist of Cacao Community, are planning to participate in the event as speakers. The list of around 90 technology sessions will be released on November 17th. Technology sessions include those of the CTOs of Cacao and Cacao Community, and sessions on the back-end tech, machine learning and AI, cloud, infrastructure and DevOps, blockchain, Android, iOS, front-end, open source, and development culture. Each session doesn't have a cap on the number of participants, allowing everyone to join through Cacao's official webpage or Cacao TV. And now it's time for the quick news of the week. First up, NCSoft to launch Lineage W in 12 countries all at once. NCSoft announced on the 4th that this month it launched its new multi-platform MMORPG Lineage W in 12 countries, including South Korea, Taiwan, and Japan, all at once. The game is available on the NC's crossplay service Purple, Google Play, and Apple's App Store. Second quick news, Smilegate's virtual celeb to be a goodwill ambassador of KFHI. Smilegate held a ceremony at its Pangyo office where its virtual celeb Han Yua was appointed to be the Korea Food for the Hungry International, or KFHI's, goodwill ambassador. The newly appointed Goodwill Ambassador is going to participate in outreach programs for marginalized people at home and abroad through the two organizations, collaborative projects for two years. Going forward, the virtual celeb will work to promote helping others by joining various projects, including talent sharing programs. For the third quick news story, Craft On to launch Thunder Tier 1 on December 7th. The South Korean game maker Crafton is going to launch a new PC game of the unique genre of top-down shooting. Crafton announced it will release the new game Thunder Tier 1 on December 7th to the game platform Steam. And that's it for your Pangyo Techno Valley Weekly News. My name is Alex Sigrist, and I'll see you next time.